hello guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how to import drivers and then create a driver package after that we're going to add the driver package to the test sequence so let's start importing the driver I'm going to import x1 yoga driver here's all the contents that I downloaded from the internet so I need to go into administration. Nope. Let's go to software libraries. Go to drivers. I'm going to import drivers. You know what? I need to move this. I'm going to create a folder for this one. Called VMX Net and I'm going to move this driver to VMX folders so now you just right click to import the driver import driver I'm going to browse it to the location where I have the driver installed or saved to it is under temp x1 just gonna copy that gonna paste this I think it's gonna want the UNC path let's give it a path it is a CCM 200 e drive temp oops no 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 I have to put in the um, x1 yoga I don't want to capture the other stuff I just want x1 yoga only click next so once it imported all the drivers it's going to ask you to create a driver package I'm just going to create a folder for this driver it's going to be under drivers the name of the model is x1 yoga I'm going to copy this and let it finish importing the drivers. It's going to take a few minutes.
Oh boy, it's taking a long time. All right, it's finished. I'm going to check this box here. It's actually it's checked automatically. Hi drivers that are not display. I'm sorry, that are not digitally signed. That's fine. Here's all the drivers. I don't have to create a categories. I could if I want to. For, let me, I'm just going to create it. Um, let's call it laptop. Click OK. Click next. Oops, I thought I checked this box. So I want to make sure I check this box. I click next. I'm going to create a new package. This is very important. You don't want to add it with everything else. You want to create its own package. It's called X1 Yoga. The path I just created. Click OK. Click Next. I can add it to the boot image if I want to, but in this case I'm not going to add it. It doesn't I don't think it's required um, adding to the boot image, but if it doesn't work, you can add you can add that later. Click next. Click next. All right, look like it's finished. Click close. I'm going to I'm going to add a I'm going to move all the contents Oops, where is it? So all the contents here, I'm going to move it to a folder. So I don't want to leave it in the root. I'm going to create a new folder called X1 Yoga. And all the contents under the drivers, I'm going to move it to X1 Yoga folder. I just try to keep it clean. It's not required, but you know, you want to make sure it's you want to keep it clean, keep it separated. So if I look on the driver package, I should see a package that's created. X1 Yoga. I'm going to distribute it to the to the DP. Next. Click OK. 
next all right now I need to add the drivers to the test sequence I go to one of my test sequence here right click edit apply driver package I'm going to add let me see if I can let's see here if I add a driver package I can do this if I want to um, limit drivers to this categories so that will anything any drivers that are under laptop category it's will try to it's going to try to install if it's uh, applicable with the hardware So I'm just going to, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a new group. New group called drivers. And then go to move it down. I'm just going to disable this one. I'm going to add a new task to install the drivers. Drivers apply driver package. So this one it's model X60. I'm going to call it model X1 I'm sorry, not X60, it's X1 Yoga. I'm going to browse X1 Yoga. That's fine, you don't need to check any of this. Um, so what I need to do is add in the options. I'm going to add a condition. I'm going to query for X1 model. I'm going to query WMI under root sim2. So I want to look, look for something. Select star from win. Oops. Win32 underscore computer system where model like I don't know I don't have um, a physical hardware for X1 yoga so if the model for X1 yoga is I don't know what the, the, the number is but I'm just gonna pretend to be call x1 yoga fifty six so I'm just gonna put in a percent sign you know what take out fifty six I put in a percent sign at the end so if it, it if it has anything that start with x1 yoga it's going to install this driver. That's what it does. That's what this condition do. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. So it's going to do all these. And it's going to install the drivers based on the condition I have configured here. So you will need to configure for each model that you're going to install. If you choose to install the driver manually, not manually, but um, 
there's an option here when you choose an up driver. There's an auto apply drivers and there's a apply driver package. It's easier to do auto apply drivers. So they're just going to try and install every drivers you have in configuration manager. And that's it. That's how you create a drivers package and add the drivers to test sequence. And if you have any questions, please put in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.